Did I just do all of that not recorded? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my classroom. Today is December 3rd, and that means Vlogmas day three. So I realized this morning that I'm teaching the same thing as I did Monday, Tuesday. So in order to make it not the same video, I'm probably gonna focus on ELA for that Monday, Tuesday group video-wise, and then math for my Thursday, Friday group video-wise. So that way you have some variety in there. So that's kind of, that, that, that's my plan. Uh, so we just finished up ELA because we're at recess and then now we're gonna dive into math, which I'll bring you along for. Outfit today, I have my favorite white leather jacket, plain black shirt, black jeans, but check out these shoes. Are they not the cutest thing? Macy's, a Black Friday sale. Check it out guys, I think they were like 14 bucks. Score. Okay, well I need to go help the sub next door because my goodness, if you were a sub during this time, bless your heart, you're saving our butt. We need you. But it's still a lot with technical difficulties, especially because there's only so much information that we can give our sub just legally for them to have access to certain things. It's a little bonkers, but I'm gonna go do that and I'll pick you guys up for math. Zombies, lead the way. Love the commitment, let's go. Four plus four plus four, that means we can do what? Three plus three plus three. 
That's a good question. Yeah. So these, those are related multiplication. We can do three times four. We can do four times three. We can do four plus four plus four. We can do three plus three plus three plus three. Six times four on this side. And that means this one, what would be the commutative property of that? I have a problem. First I need to do the commutative property, so which would go first this time? Six. Six went first over there. A four. A four. Four and six. Now when we're doing that repeated addition one, this is what we look for. I need your eyes up here. You guys are taking too long to write. Your eyes are up here. Okay, if I'm doing sixes, there needs to be four of them. Okay, so you have six. One, two, three, four. Ready? One, two, three, four. So then, if I come over here, and this one, let's do the opposite. What number do I want to see? Four. Four. I'm going to be writing my fours. How many of them do I need? Four. Four. Six. I need six. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Do you think these are going to be the same? If I'm doing six times four, we can do, want to do our six song or do you want to do our four song? Four song. So if I'm doing my four song, I need to have four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. What's our answer? 24. So now this equals 24. Do these all equal 24? Yeah. Because they're all a family. 24, 24, 24, 24. Yeah. All of them. Okay. So this is an array model. Okay. So if I have, let's say, How many do we have going across? Two, four. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to take that four and I write it right here. Then I count how many going down. How many do I have going down? Four. One, two, three, four. I take that four and I write it over here. Like you guys said, it was four plus four. Sixteen. Four times four. 16. Yes. That equals sixteen. So that means if I go 4, 8, 12, 16, right? Or I can go this way. 4, 8, 12, 16. You can by 6, okay? So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so I take that 6. Okay, and then times it by what? write the multiplication sentence and I want you to draw the array. Check out these smarty pants. Okay, next one. Okay. Okay, let's write. That's not the answer. So we're counting by five. We need to do it six times. Okay, so we're counting by five. Show me six on your fingers. Ready? We're counting by five. Let's go. Five, ten. One, two. 
Good job. Here's my number line. How many big jumps do I have? Big jumps. Five. One, two, two three, four, five. Five. So I'm going to write five. Five times. Now I need to find how many little jumps I did. How many little jumps did I do? So let's look. Where does my first jump end? Three. three. So that means I went one, two, three. three. And then I'm going to do this one. One, two, three. So how many little jumps do I have between each one? I count by one. Yes, this first one is our clue. I count by threes each time. And when I counted by threes each time, what did that equal? What did I land on? So I would put your board vertical, so we can do all of these. We're gonna make a giant list. Vertical is this one, because think of a giant V, how it goes up and down. Horizontal, like the H, goes Y. So we're looking for a vertical. There we go. Okay, so at the very top, you're gonna to write three times zero. Three times zero equals zero, because anything times zero equals zero. So for homework, I have been using Class Kick and I love Class Kick. So I can go and add some text here. Say, Thursday's homework. I can even highlight it. Oh, that's all too. Okay, they'll click that link to do the problem and solution Kahoot. Cause again, I can just link it. To add a link, I can add a title right here. And then I just, Paste the link, and there you go. Then we're going to do a color by pro. I just, I literally took a picture of this worksheet that is me right there in my classroom. I just held it up and took a picture. And that's why I love it because it is super, super helpful. I'm also going to put a video for multiplication by threes there. That way they can watch that video and help them with that. <laughs> And you gotta love Jack Cartman. Always coming in clutch. So we, um, this last one. So I'm gonna click this link. I'm going to click multiply by three. And here I will paste the link, save. Here we go. And there's the video. And they click that and it'll just pull it right up. Another thing I'm debating on adding at probably the bottom is our multiplication song thing that we have. You can also upload from file. So I believe that I have my twos, my threes, I have that saved here. I go ahead, open it. Here we go. All right, I don't wanna add it to this one because I do have some kids that already colored that and I don't wanna completely mess them up. So I will add it at the bottom here. That way they have it as a reference. Tuesday, they have this spelling worksheet to do that's in their packet. They just need to complete it on here or take a picture of theirs. There's a bossy R boom card that they had to complete and then a multiplication boom card. So I've linked out two other pieces of their homework. So I have been using boom cards a lot. Here was our bossy R boom card. The kids like them, they're a little more interactive. You can click and go. Sometimes you have to actually type out the word. So for here, you have to sort them. So you would put them in the right places. Or you have to type it. And I love the multiplication ones. It kind of gives them a breakdown. 
Um, yeah, and these are the word problems, which of course we need the most work with word problems. And of course it's the homework assignment that was done the least this week. So I pulled a couple up today in class to go over it, to try to walk them through it, but it's not even, here's the frustrating part. It's not even that they don't know how to do it. It's that they don't want to and they don't care. And there's no reason for them to care because there's no repercussions. You know, there's no detention, there's no nothing. It's just, mm, don't think so, Miss Blair. So that's why I gave my little pep talk about why we're putting the effort in now because then it's gonna make these really easy later. And these word problems and multiplication isn't gonna stop. They're just gonna be expected to know it. And the more that they can practice and put in the work now, the more it's gonna pay off and they'll be able to get these so quick. <sighs> so, I'm sure none of them will do that. My hair is driving me crazy today. Uh, so I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure it's not gonna happen. But I try and I'm gonna keep trying. And yeah, so that's what I've been doing for homework. Again, I love class kick and boom cards have been my go-to. It just makes it really easy. I simply take a picture right there and then or I'll take it and email it to me so it can be a little more clear. Just perfect for on the go. And it's kid friendly because everything is really simple or has little pictures that they can understand. Alrighty, well, I have a meeting at three even though we're out at 310 and we've never had a meeting in 10 minutes. It's like always 30 to 40 minutes. So yeah, I'm not gonna keep you here for that. <laughs> oh, and total just teacher life. In the break room, you know, we're talking about, oh my gosh, we have a meeting at three. How are we gonna be done at 310? I'm leaving at 310. I don't care if the meeting's still going. I am done at 310 because that is my contract time. Yet you watch every single one of us there, no matter how long it takes. 30 minutes in, we will still be sitting there. 40 minutes in, we will still be sitting there. Just teach your life at its finest. Alrighty guys, well, thank you for joining for Vlogmas Day 3, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. I need to get my nails done. <laughs> Bye.